The fate of a Chisago County man accused of giving his ex-girlfriend drugs that led to her death is now in the hands of a jury. Aaron Schnagel faces third-degree homicide charges for the December 2012 death of Danielle Jelinek. The authorities believe the 27-year-old Oakdale woman overdosed on drugs and Schnagel dumped her body in a pond, which was found five months later. Rachel Slavic was in court today and she's live now in Center City. Rachel. The jury got this case about three hours ago, and the plan is to deliberate as long as they want tonight. If there's no decision, they'll break and come back on Monday. And this jury has a lot of evidence to get through, as well as testimony, four weeks worth. And their decision could send a man to prison for 12 years. Family and friends on both sides walked into the Chisago County Courthouse to hear final arguments in the four-week trial. Prosecutor Nick Hajdukovich described Aaron Schnagel as a drug dealer, saying, quote, for the defendant, the life of Danielle Jelinek was the cost of doing business. The state argued that business was threatened when Jelinek overdosed at Schnagel's home in December of 2012. They tried to convince the jury that Schnagel dumped her body in a nearby pond and then tried to cover up the crime, saying, quote, he did what he had to do to protect his business. Yet the defense Defense argued Jelinek wandered off in the night, and authorities relied on inconsistent evidence and unreliable witnesses who changed their stories. Quote, they cherry-picked where this cocaine came from, said Schnagel's attorney Melvin Welch. From the beginning, the defense argued the drugs came from a third party, and in closings, Schnagel's attorney pointed out that man later became an important witness for the prosecution. Welch said they jumped to conclusions and gave immunity to the guy who got the cocaine. Now, first thing this morning, before those closing arguments were heard, Aaron Schnagel's attorney did try to tack on a lesser charge of second-degree manslaughter. The reasoning there, according to a legal expert, if there is a conviction, obviously that would be less jail time, and in this case it would be eight years, but a judge denied that attempt. Thank you, Rachel.